Life is strange. Last we left off, I played episode one. Back after. The last time, and changed some of my choices. Basically just that and I took the photos that I missed out. But without further ado, let's carry on. Previous episode of Life is Strange. Whoa! What the fuck? What do you? Want Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? Bully, bully, bully. For reals, Warren. This is between you and me. Don't insult me, Max. Go on. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. That we can rewind time. I'd love to be able to hit the snooze button when I, but when I wake up I have to go to work. <laughs> Don't nod entertainment. Life is Strange, episode 2, Out of Time. How do I cut freezing if I slept without the covers on? Especially when it's meant to be like autumn time. This is set in the month of October, which is pretty cold. I am so wrecked after staying up all night. I could use my rewind to catch a few more Z's, but maybe I better save my strength. I wonder if she accidentally rewound in her sleep there then woke up way, way back in time, like what the fuck? Oh yeah, get up. Oh, I forgot to press the get up button. Being a superhero is dirty work. I need a shower. 
Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. Chloe. You there, Mad Max? I said all what is for you. No emoji. Meet me at the diner in 40. I'll be there. Do not be late, or I know. Or I know time is not on your side. Don't get high like in my room. <laughs> on my way, you're evil 40 minutes or else. Even with all this crazy shit going on, it is so cool having Chloe back in my life again. Like no time has passed. Okay, Max, let's hit the showers now. No smiling. Take your power seriously. when you research quantum physics all night. Do not forget I need those papers before tonight. Like now. Thanks, Sherry. Yeah, of course, Victoria. I'll get the tests and papers to you this afternoon. Totally snooping on your conversation. So Consider it done. Let me in. Let me in. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> One quick rewind and I could stop this TP attack. You okay, Alyssa? Immature assholes. Sorry, Max. I'm not feeling social right now. <laughs> Alyssa, can you stand over there? Um, okay, Max. <laughs> if that makes you happy. <laughs> like, what the hell? Wow, now that was close. Thank you, Max. Why, hello again, Alyssa. Okay, Max. That's twice you've saved me from a projectile weapon. Are you my guardian angel? Hardly. I just have a sixth sense for trouble. I'm glad to help you out. Blackwell has a surplus of assholes. Oh, by the way, Warren <laughs> said you borrowed his epic film flash drive. I didn't know you were a sci-fi geek like us. What's your favorite? Back to the future. I love Back to the Future, of course, but who doesn't? Can you imagine going back in time to Blackwell? Brooke jealous. I'll hmm. just pretend I have no idea what you mean. Back to the Future is freaking awesome. I got all three of them on Blu ray. Hey, Brooke. Oh, hi, Max. Did you see the freak snowfall yesterday? I was riveted by that weird snow flurry yesterday. I can't tell if you're being serious or not. Um, since I'm a science noob, I was wondering if you could explain it. I'm serious. Even meteorologists can't explain that snow. I bet Warren can. Did you talk to him yet? I will later. Lucky you. I'm sure he'll track you down, Max. I'll see you around. Hello, Juliet. Hey, Max. Did you check out Kate's hot video yet? That's so not cool. I didn't get wasted on camera and get busy with the Vortex Club. Kate's not like that, and you know it. Really? Check her out and tell me what she's like. Do you believe everything you see? Like Zachary sexting Dana? Touche. <laughs> now I feel like an ass. Thanks for finding out the truth yesterday. What about Victoria, Aisha, what about Zachary? What did you do about Victoria pulling that crap? Punch Nothing her in the face. yet. <laughs> My mind works in devious ways too. Glad to see you're back in action. You have a good heart, Max. And I won't watch Kate's video anymore. Or pass it on. That's the spirit. Thanks, Juliet. Sure. Talk to you later. Peace.
I've never seen Dana this bouncy and happy without a pot of coffee. Who like gets up in the morning and just starts dancing? I'd be so tired, I'd be like, ugh. What's happening, Dana? Everything cool between you and Juliet? Oh, yeah. Thanks again for releasing me from her captivity. By the way, the best and biggest news of the day is that Trevor asked me to the Halloween shindig. That's awesome, Dana. At least we're showing our faces together in public. So you absolutely should go with us. Borrow one of my outfits and come as a cute geek couple with your bitch Warren. Uh, I'm not big on cosplay. Don't let life pass you by, Max. So, are you coming to the party or not? Why the fuck not? If I hate it, I can always go back to my room. That's the spirit, Max. After this, you'll be ready for a rave. It does sound like fun. <laughs> now I have to go contemplate my party future. Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of Halloween, look at all this makeup. At least Dana knows how to use it. And Halloween is actually soon. Curiosity killed the Max. Hey, Kate. How are you doing? I'm here. Thanks again for standing up for me yesterday. You're welcome. I needed that. Anytime. That guy has issues. Doesn't everybody here? By the way, Max, do you still have my copy of the October Country? Oh, yes, of course. It's great so far. I didn't realize Bradbury was such a poet. Can you please bring it back to my room this morning? I just need to take some notes for class. Absolutely. I'll bring it by later. What's up, Kate? School. That's it? That video of you clubbing didn't look like homework. Victoria, that wasn't me. Oh my god, right. Don't be shy. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> you're going to be sorry someday. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm sorry you're a viral slut. I'm sure she had fun. Looks like it. I know Nathan hooked her up, and you know he has the good shit. Preach it, sister. Yup, I still have goddamn paint all over my face. <laughs> good thing my faithful minions took their sweet time bringing me a towel. We ran all the way- Give it a rest, Taylor. Now I know if I'm in an accident, I won't rely on you or Courtney for help. You can hang out with Kate, or Max. Such a bitch. She's a weirdo with that dumb camera. I hate that I'm so quirky crap. Love it.
I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Is that the link to Kate's video? Damn, Victoria is so fucking mean. Katesfit.com. Even if I can stop one person from watching it, it's worth it. Well, if I actually went on that website, it doesn't work. As it's not real. Remember to take the pictures this time. I missed some in the last episode. Even though I went back and took them there. Run! Did they write crap on their slate again? I sure would like to catch this hall tagger. way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Man, this could almost be art if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. <laughs> That's pretty weird. Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Even Chloe told me not to go to the principal. Yeah, it's a good thing you go to the principal. I think, anyway. Because Nathan gets told off. No, I'm of course, she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book, and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Sneaky beaky. Now I have to wonder if any of these films are based on a true story. What films? We don't know what they are. Not that we need to know. It's like, not relevant. I need to get dressed. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. I she wears the same clothes every day, pretty much. Apart from the shirt. Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. As if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Oh shit, now I'm getting anonymous threats? It never ends. This has to be from Nathan. He probably got but it could be anybody. Victoria. I better be doubly careful around here or I could be in serious danger. Which, like, if I don't not understand already. how Victoria has Max's number in the first place though, if they're not You're friends. In there? Yes, I'm here. It's like, yeah, sure, just give people back. that aren't your friends your number. Looks like a demon bunny. Has no eyes. It looks like his eyes are blacked out, like in Supernatural, when the demons have got blacked out eyes. Why did she cover up the mirror? She... Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun and colorful and pos That's a lot of tears. She... Kate really has a doting father. And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it's not. John 1 5. Katie, you'll always be my brightness light in the dark. Hugs and love, Pop. 
hey, I'm trying to use my powers for good. Ouch. She left out amnation. That was from dear Katie. <clears throat> no spirit or devil could have prepared me for what you have done in that videotape. And <clears throat> and like a Jezebel, you, re you released your Harriet image before God's eyes. I will pray with my church for you, for your soul, to be saved from eternal hellfire. Aunt Marsh. Fucking hell. It's a bit harsh. Good lord. This must be Kate's HR Geiger period. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Kate's room is usually immaculate. For her, this must be a pigsty. Kate used to play the violin every morning. She stopped last week. Kate is all alone dealing with this video bullshit. I hope her mother doesn't disown her. Katie, your father and I just received a rather disturbing call from Principal Wells about you and some party video. Our concerns about sending you to Blackwell seem justified. Please call us after your classes this evening so we can fully discuss the matter. For forgiveness, your mother. Her mum sounds like they're like her mum and auntie. Sound like the frickin' mother out of Carrie. Kate even makes notes in her Bible. My parents never once took me to church. Much if Kate I had was nothing like to rebel against. I don't know what to believe now. Come to <coughs> Come to me all who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest. When justice is done, it brings you the righteous, but terror, yeah, yeah, she's got that one out. Damn, it's the all-American zombie family. <laughs> that sounds really It's way me. too emo in here. Kate isn't that gloomy. Until late. Uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Because he's a jerk. I hate bullies. David Madsen should know better. I was hoping he would. But it's nice to see that you care about me. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. About the video, did you party or so? Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me. I know this sucks, Kate, but tell me about the David video, and video. Maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one vortex club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people, and I have no memory of it. Why would you go? That's awful. It does. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more we than did. that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. <laughs> Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room 
I, I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... And? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? There's no such thing as getting a viral video taken down. Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Like, you can get a video taken down from its original source, but it'll always be there somewhere. Let's put it upside down. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Go to the police. Look for proof. Mm. See, I've played before. I've chose both answers, but... I'll be nice. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. And it jerks. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Nah, don't care. Max, food. Two whales. See you there. Don't hurt your fingers texting. Yay, breakfast. No emoji. <laughs> if doesn't like my emojis. Ding. Ding. Oh yeah, the next one. Oh, shut up, phone. Where's the next one? That one's outside the dorm, I think. Those three are at the diner. Them two at the junkyard, the three at the junkyard, and then last two at the school. I'm not going to know where they are in episode three, but episode four, rather, five. Uh, I meant episode five, got there in the end. Yeah, the photos. I might have different choices when I live stream episode 5 though, because I might do it from my main save, which I don't usually change my options on that, I play that with honesty. How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? Release the Kraken! Come on, squirrels! 
Time for your 15 minutes of fame. You mean square? Yes, another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Do squirrels eat donuts? I suppose they do. It's like, I don't know. I know they like nuts and things. Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. Love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? All of them. <laughs> Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me. Like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. So... What did you think about that freak How do you know what spirit animal yesterday? is? How do you find that Another out? message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. Stop talking about yourself in the third person. It's not Facebook. I so don't want to get annoyed with the morning People just talk about themselves in the third See person later. on Facebook. Of course you will. Mind you, I've seen I've got one friend on Facebook that still does it. I'm like, stop it. Yeah, shit winds me up. The paint job looks great. Samuel knows his color schemes. Oh, it's white. Standard color. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. <laughs> Just because you were <laughs> nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. Yeah, it does. You... I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. Uh, I wouldn't say so. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. <laughs> I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick, but whatever. We've had our talk. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. Just be- I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Yeah. Doing good deeds. This is Nathan's father. On a private number. <laughs> this is a message to let you know Attempts to slander and blackmail my son will be met with many lawyers and legal ramifications. You're not the first student at Blackwell to try this. I hope you are the last. Consider it your final polite warning. Ah, fuck off. Prick. Max, come on over here. Peace. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Warren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, sure. I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. You were standing there texting. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot the voice arms around there as well. I was going to say, why are you perving on the skills? Meh. 
Glad Chow just forgot what you said. Uh, right away, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, <laughs> she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? He doesn't like me. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. I bet we don't end up going to that drive-in, because episode 5, shit's gonna go down. And then we end up texting, right? No drive-in. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Totally what I do, I get on the bus, put my music on. Why are school buses yellow in America anyway? <laughs> like in the UK here, we just use regular buses as school buses. You just see them like marked on the front, it says school bus. Try to take you from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Yo, can I have that lottery ticket? How much is it for? Ten bucks. Cool. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. 
No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Hmm. It'd be like my name is Elric, try and cash it in and get hit by a bus or a truck, whatever it was. Or a car. I can't remember now. It's like a long time ago since I watched my name is Elric. And it's like, I'm just trying to be a better person. My name is Elric. Oh, one one. Oh, it's that one. Running late, grab grab a brief at the diner, Mum will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. And she was the one being bossy about. Be there in forty minutes and she's like, Ah, I'm running late. Good one, Chloe. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. Until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Huh? They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Obviously, nobody took my advice. <laughs> There's that dirty RV from the other day. Stop that. Stop. No barking. Excuse me, sir. Can you believe this town? Changes. The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! <laughs> the snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? That guy's Mr. Happy. at you a fine example of youth I bet you're a senior student yes I go to Blackwell Academy I could tell you're a wise young woman I know all about Blackwell and this town how long have you lived in Arcadia Bay a thousand years I've gone through the same changes as the town wouldn't it be funny if she was Max from the future, who have like, gone a bit mad or whatever. What changes to the town? <coughs> Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. 
out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. <laughs> they once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell, almost. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. <laughs> His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I have to go now. Goodbye. Peace out. Open sesame. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware ugh, makes me feel 13 again. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. Where's Lady? Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? She reminds me of somebody out of Fallout 3. There was like this strange lady that would talk like that. Kate Marsh, love you long time. That graffiti has been here forever. Flush before pissing on the floor. <laughs> Gross. There's a dough. Thank you, redneck poet. Oh, gay dear gay sucks deck. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. <laughs> you crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked, so I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. <laughs> yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin they were getting free room. He was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. I like the way they just like talk about Justin this way. They like how oh, Justin react like, like he wouldn't hear it. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Drool. Want everything. <laughs> uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I just need to see my truck out there in the lot. Been a long night in the road, and I have to make sure my baby is sleeping right. 
and then somebody gets in and steals it. <laughs> no, my truck. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Banjo tune, guitar tune. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. Ken Kesey. Two Joyce, best burgers and get to vibe in Oregon. She is a lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. <laughs> You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. Mm. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. It surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe understands. She just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? <laughs> I did. And I am sorry. I don't want Chloe in any more trouble. Or me. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire oh, that good, you took the heat right now. Like a great friend. <laughs> but Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. He cares about Kate Marsh? David mentioned her, but I stay out of his business. I won't patrol Blackwell, and he won't cook at the diner, you know? I saw him arguing with Kate. I thought you might know why. Nice try, Nancy Drew. But next to you, there's only one student I'm worried about. And she's not even in school anymore. So, now let's get down to the nitty-gritty. What do you want to eat? Bacon all the way. I was dreaming about your bacon omelette. Now finish your coffee. Or oh, what? Uh, like, now finish your coffee, or I'll kill you. But I don't like coffee. I love the delicious. The patient of breakfast. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner, not a bar. No beer? <laughs> it looks like you had plenty. Stick with this. This is like fourth dimensional some deja diners vu. Actually sell beer, I though. keep going back in time. Oh, well, there, she says the same thing when I drink the coffee. Order ready. Mm. 
No beef. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Six dollars fifty for bacon. Um, what, what kind of dive is this? I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. <laughs> here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Do we get it free because we know Still you? Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, oh. mm, Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating <laughs> Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh god, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way... Of course Chloe knows where the heavy rock music is. <laughs> Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. It'd be good if you could say a thing before actually looking. A skull keychain for a punk like you. A that punk. was so wrong, Max. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Panda keychain. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Cigarette. One cent, coin, five cent, coin, quarter dollar. What's there? One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Quarter, quarter. Twenty-five, fifty, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-four, eighty-six cents. You got. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Twin Peaks, ten thirty-five a.m. Date. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. <laughs> your car keys. Duh! 
A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Supermax. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Money. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. <laughs> but how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. <laughs> Something else in my pockets? A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Ten thirty four AM. Booyah, Max can tell time. Amaze balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. <laughs> How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. It wasn't a save. And I'm hungry like, like the a food. wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside! He started it! I'm finishing it! Song I've this heard is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Now I should rewind and tell Chloe everything that just happened. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. <laughs> The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? A little cops radio, and he leaves. And he eats a donut. <laughs> That's exactly what he would do. The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor fight and Joyce beats them. Joyce stops them. Joyce doesn't care. Joyce encourages them. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Jukebox goes crazy as crockly. There's a fly lands on it, there's a butterfly lands on it as the trucker plays a new song. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. <clears throat> Oops! Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh! Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that. Of course it's a toy. <laughs> the best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! 
grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? <laughs> hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Chloe finally believes me. And I wonder what kind of crazy shit she has in mind now. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. It sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. I could rewind and not answer Kate. It's not like I won't see her in class later. Pissed at me this week. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Are you kidding? After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. I'd be like, sure, why not? Okay, like, let's do this. Glug, glug. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Five green Beer bottles. <laughs> Nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Who gets drunk on five bottles of beer though? Unless you don't really drink that much then, fair enough. One, four, two. Hello, bottle number one. I just put that in my one more pocket. to go. Oh, 
washing machine. Boom, only three bottles left. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op. Yeah, it doesn't appear on the photo. It seems like any she can see it as well, so... This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Three down, two more to go. Ouch. You. Yes, you. <laughs> Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Technically, not a mixtape is a mix CD, but yeah. You know. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. That kind of hurts. I don't want to intrude, but now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. One more bottle. bottle to go. Thanks for the tip. Because every round to stop that crap from falling down. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. I when you pick up an old piece of wood and you get a splinter. That shit's annoying. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. I like those little sit down moments, it's like these little moments in the game we just sit down and hear what Max is thinking. Thanks, Max. Wait, 
One more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. <clears throat> Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, it's like crap Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was no, so I fucking didn't see cool. A thing. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Max, where do oh. I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Boom. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need a target before I shoot. I'm gonna shoot the gas tank just because Let's cool see what explosion. happens when you shoot the gas tank. Step back, gas tank go boom. <laughs> Boom! Car definitely down, but no bottle casualties. That's better than the bottles, though. Feels good, but I didn't hit any of the bottles. But that's better than the bottles. How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. Bust a cap in your raggedy know. ass. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! <laughs> Every time she rewinds it, it does something to her. Like she gets headaches and you like she holds her head when you rewind. And nose bleeds. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. Glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. And then last two of the school. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. That's good I to head out of here. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo. Max is afraid. I know you can handle this. And I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie 
and Clyde. Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girlie? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? <laughs> Please. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. That is hilarious. Oh, man. I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Wowzer, why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I'm Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. Leave the junkyard. I still can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. <laughs> you have the power. You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers. Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? You don't mean you... Oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, <laughs> man. He never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? I think we have to be careful and keep an... Hung out this... Much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. 
Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had, has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. <laughs> we would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. There's so much I need to cover in episode 5, right? It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. I mean, we found out what I'd rather to be a good photographer. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. But there's still a bunch of other stuff they need to show. I should wrap it all up in episode Perfect. 5. Perfect. Like I said before, <gasps> episode 5 of the movie, I love it a lot. Boot oh, stuck. Shit. She could just take her boots off, you know, you didn't have to fuck about rewinding time and Shit, I can't budget at all. Come on, Matt. I can definitely use this bad boy. Blocking the drum. <sighs> Come on, Max. Hurry. I don't like crash the train. Please get me out of here. Awesome. It's not locked. But which wire to cut? Save me again! Crazy! Now we're totally bonded for life. Damn. That was close. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but well, just just take I have to get back to school before my next that. class. Since you're the mysterious the superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. And then my powers got off, but if you might not last, it. Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. I mean, it would have been easier to take her boots off. I mean, I would have done. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. You've saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. 
Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? <laughs> Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar! Like he said, Professor Price. A superhero needs a sidekick. How can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Sir? Oh, Sorry, hello, Miss. I hope this isn't party. about the alleged gun How incident. Miss it? I have the sweetest outfit. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Fucking, he's a prick. Who's this random girl? Random character, you. Is that... Is that the bitch who doesn't... I don't know. This character doesn't have us in the VIP room. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. You mean stupid shit? <laughs> Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Who said I was going? That snow was so insane. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti soiree You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Hey, Courtney. Ch really? Oh. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Yeah, we got on the list. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. 
and I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. <laughs> I'm in the sci-fi lab now. I'm no Oh, Schrodinger's kitty. See you later. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Mad I have to score some weed from Nathan. Think, big brain, think. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. So I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I have a vision. Go diem. Godium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has <laughs> spoken. Sodium it is. Make it blow up. Blow shit up, then you walk away. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. I just undo talking to David. So you can't help me? I'm trying. You best not bother chatting me up now. Stop acting so brittle. Being on a viral video does that. Maybe this is your way of getting attention. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Such a prick. Hey, Warren. <laughs> Asking... I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. I like that movie. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts, and yours might be the one that decided. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. 
There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Sooner than you think. <laughs> Hey, Warren. Maxwell? Asking me? Have that? Lots of potassium. <laughs> Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Oh, you guys really broke the bounds of science. Huh. Now the scientist guy. Walter White. Like, which one? Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently, it's my nature. Yet, Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help, anyway. She likes Warren. But then Warren likes Max. It's like a love triangle. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just... It's too bad you... Don't need to ask about the experiment again. How's your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. But no finger pointing in, Max. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. But I forgot you. That's were how they keep us all distracted. Me. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. <clears throat> but people like David Matson want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure spying. Blackwell Academy does just not end up like him. Security cameras. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. I can't wait for fall either. It's all about the atmosphere. You're the artist and I'm the scientist. Like yin and yang. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on. Get the hell out of here, Max. Who are you? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just Get between lost. you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? Yeah, My fun. word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. 
That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Sure, okay. Let's snoop on his conversation. Listen, I do have a class I have to teach. I have to go. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll do that. I know. That makes sense. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seriously, I have to hang up now. Let's talk about this later. I don't know who he's talking to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Sure, okay. Oh, his conversation's on a loop. Make it beautiful, Hayden. Both. 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 Nina. You are out of control. Then left, then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like an asshole. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to drop Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. <laughs> I hope you liked the sketch I did of you yesterday. Oh. Bit embarrassed. <laughs> love. And it's my new avatar. Excellent. I got tons of likes on FB. Ah, made you blush. Shut up. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. The Louvre. I've never been there. Never Do you think France. Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure she'll report us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. Damn straight I can hear you, motherfuckers. Come here, I'm gonna fucking smack you around the head. I'm like... Pff, pff, slap both of you in the head. At the same time. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird.
What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. We have a lot to cover today, and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think I guess Kate will miss class now. I'm worried about her. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some. Max, the boss of a gun, marry me. Huh. <laughs> Illegal in Oregon for now. Fuck that shit. Elope. <laughs> in the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? Why does he keep calling us out? I'm sure that you shit? read the syllabus like it was a Fuck Harry Potter prick. book, so you must know today we're studying Kiro Skiro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. <laughs> like, screw this your class, man. We dismissed ourselves. Rewind again and again. Keep going, Max. You can do it. This part must be like hurt in her head really quite a lot. Because she's like frozen time on it. Or at least slowed it down somewhat. I think it's actually frozen. Power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. 
Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. Only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate. There are billions of videos out there. Yours will fade away like white noise. Oh God, please, Max. You haven't seen the looks I get. Or the laugh. I understand, truly. I get bullied too. But this is a blip. Yep, my life is a blip. Blackwell taught me I'm worthless. I'll prove it right now. Kate, you can't do this to all the people who care about you. No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care. Yeah, he's like the only even one though that I cares hurt him. Really for him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. Like her mother's such a bitch. See? That card You're not alone. And nobody down there wants to see you up here. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Matthew 11:28. 28. I can't believe you quoted one of my favorite passages. Like I said, I care about you. I know this passage means a lot to you. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, <clears throat> but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. That's right. Of course, you're quite a hero. Yeah. Real hero. <laughs> As principal of Blackwell yeah, Academy, sure. I take my David duty Benson. seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen. As our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, 
Why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Because I rebound time. Did she tell you her Stop plan? Time. I'm on the or roof. anything at all? Please tell us everything. But you won't believe the true story, so. See, depending on how you uh, go about the story, you can take the picture of David and then you've got proof there. And there's another way you can blame Jefferson. It's like. Like for instance, I told the head teacher about the gun, so I can say it. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed. So if you have one of the other two options, she got you have wasted to have and kissed some boys on a viral statement. video without a clue. I dosed her <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're playing a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit, that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And <laughs> since Mr. Prescott Typical. does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. <laughs> Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before Can't we can take over somebody to court. A friend and student him. just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. H G double hockey sticks. There's actually a H up there, or is that just like? I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand, and then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm so worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. <laughs> I can't watch it one and a half. Just Warren, like, watch it halfway through. I don't mean to sound weird, I was like, but... Yeah, fuck this. There's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. <laughs> I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. I love eclipses. There was one recently where the moon went red as well. That's pretty amazing. Oh, 
I actually kind of like David, but you get put in a situation where you can spoil your life. Take that picture, you can probably get it suspended from the security job, which I haven't actually done yet. I've always gone with blaming Nathan when I've played. It's so probably on episode 5 now, and play on my own off, yeah, off camera. Just go through the whole game, choosing like. There, Nathan looks alright. He seems like he genuinely cares about it. But sorry, I've been upset there. He's not a bad character. Them folders again. Okay. So two out of time. Life is strange. Skip over. You tell Kate to go to the police. It's thirty three percent of people. Six usually I choose the other option. You answered Kate's call. You tried to shoot Frank. You blame Nathan. 15% of people choose to blame David. You saved Kate's life. You didn't alter the plan. You helped Alyssa. You were erased. Thanks to Kate's video, you were fr friendly with Taylor. You accepted Warren's invitation. You wrote a message. You didn't tamper with the rail tracks. I don't know how you do that. Right? You gained entry to the Vortex Club party. You helped Warren. You told on David to... <laughs> Chaos Theory, episode 3. And I'll be playing episode 3 Chaos Theory tomorrow. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye!